Thank you very much for being with me. Yeah, this is our sixth video, and we are quickly look, looking at the uh, various uh, antonym words with prefaces and suffixes. So, as you can see on your screen, we have I am as a preface. If you put it in front of the word polite, you have impolite. Okay? So, the root word is polite. That is uh, the root word. So, the opposite is impolite. It means not polite. Then, you can also see in or I n. When you place it before the word complete, we have incomplete. So, it goes on and on. So, you can just take your time and study them. Then, we look at another slide. We have un. It means not. Okay, so if you place it before happy, you have unhappy. We have re, which means to do again. So write, rewrite. So rewrite means what? Write again. We have dis. It means not or offset. So I agree. We have disagree. I agree with what you're saying. I disagree with you. Okay. So we also have I am not placed before the word polite. You have impolite. Then the last one, M I S, means wrongly or badly. The word is behave. Then misbehave. Okay. So Take your time and study these and make sure you use them in meaningful sentence because very shortly we will do that activity. Now to the video six. We are still on video six. Yeah, we have a lot. And these are the antonyms with surfaces. Okay, like less, less, careful careful the opposite becomes careless okay careless harmful harmless harmless so it seems all the words with f u l that is all the words with surface f u l they have the surface l e s s less to have their uh, antonyms or offset. Thank you very much. And let's move on to our seventh video. As I said, we need to, or we should be able to use antonym words in meaningful sentences. So this is the activity that we are going to do. Thank you.